Tales of Baby Wise were first shared in 1984. Sarah was the first baby girl raised with the principles. Kenny was the first boy. Both thrived on mother's milk and a basic routine, and both slept through the night by seven weeks. It was that easy. From friend to friend, city to city, state to state, and country to country, the positive message continues to spread. Today we no longer count the success stories in thousands, or even in tens of thousands, but in millions of happy, healthy babies who are given the gift of nighttime sleep. As with the previous editions, this update does not provide parents a list of do's and don'ts. We wish parenting were that easy. Rather, our larger objective is to help prepare minds for the incredible task of raising a child. We believe the preparation of the mind is far more important than the preparation of the nursery. Your baby will not care if his head rests on designer sheets or beside Disney characters nor is your success tied to his wardrobe or bedroom accessories, but rather to the beliefs and convictions that will eventually shape your parenting experience. It is our opinion that the achievements of healthy growth, contented babies, good naps, and playful wake times, as well as the gift of nighttime sleep, are too valuable to be left to chance. They need to be parent-directed and parent-managed. These are attainable conclusions because infants are born with the capacity to achieve these outcomes and, equally important, the need to achieve them. Our goal is to demonstrate how this is done, but only after we explain why it should be done. We realize there are a number of parenting theories being marketed today, most of which come gift-wrapped with unrealistic promises and unnecessary burdens. In light of the many options, how can new parents know what approach is best for their families? Since every philosophy of parenting has a corresponding outcome unique to that philosophy, we encourage new and expectant parents to consider, evaluate, and decide which approach is best for their families. This can be accomplished by observing the end results. Spend time with relatives and friends who follow the Laliche League attachment parenting style of infant care. Observe those who practice hyper-scheduling and certainly evaluate the outcomes associated with baby-wise. In which homes do you observe order, peace, and tranquility? Consider the marriages as well as the children. Is mom in a perpetual state of exhaustion? Is she nursing every two hours or less? Is dad sleeping on the couch? What is family life like when a child is 6, 12, and 18 months old? Is mom stressed, frustrated, or lacking confidence? Is the baby stressed, exhausted, or insecure? When the baby is 9 months old, can the parents leave the room without the baby falling apart emotionally? We believe the best evaluation of any parenting philosophy, including the one found in this book, is not found in the reasoning or the logic of the hypothesis, but in the end results. Let your eyes confirm what works and what does not. You will be most confident in your parenting when you see the desired results lived out in other families using the same approach. Look at the fruit and then trace it back to its seed source.